Back to my uh, temperatures of lights. We've got a standard El Cheapo, like $10 Walmart shop light. We've got uh, Grow Lux bulbs in this one. The temperatures for that was 112 on the left side in the middle. It was 109 and it was 129 on this other end. And I suspect that's because it's raised and all the heat is rising that way and there really isn't anywhere for it to go. Plus the ballast is there, but the ballast was only like 110 degrees. So, still kind of warm, but I've got it quite a ways away from the plants. But um, And the other one back here is uh, the shop light I got at Menards. Um, it's a little fancier one. That's the first one that I picked up. Um, it's supposed to be awesome because the reflector is great or whatever, but I don't know, marketing scam, I don't know. 118 degrees on the left side, 103 in the middle, and 112 on the other side. That's just got a standard 6500K daylight bulb in it. Um, I'll go up to my supercharged one here next and get the temperature results from that, and I'll bring this along so we can compare to see if that made any difference or not in the temperatures. Here we've got the uh, supercharged T8, made from the uh, cheapo Walmart ones to put together into one. Uh, Slee Stacks Rule has a great how-to on how to do that. The uh, temperature on the left side was 115, there's 110 in the middle, and 120 on the right side. And again, if you can see it, it's at an angle, so the heat is probably most likely rising up towards the hotter end, as there's no ventilation holes cut in the ends at all. So, might be something to look into, but if you can compare, it's not much different temperature-wise from the standard, uh, just the standard one, so the supercharging it, it doesn't add much more heat at all, and it puts out a bunch more light, so. There you have that, and then just for giggles, I measured the temperature of my fish tank light, and I will show you that right here now. And here's my fish tank, it's got uh, 15 watt T8s in it, the little guys, just a plant and aquarium bulb. 130 degrees, 110 in the middle, and 130 on the outside end. But that's because it's pretty much entirely enclosed, and the vents on top put out a fair amount of heat. So, not really a whole lot to see here except uh, George back there hiding, protecting her eggs, and uh, the other fish in there that like to hide unless it's time to feed them.